Hey humans, today on Exploring Limitations, I'm gonna show you four easy ways to make your mono tracks stereo in the analog realm. Here we go. Today's musical examples are gonna come from this tape loop that I do not remember recording. Look how cool it is. It's got the made on tape written on it. This was made by Conformity Cult, at Conformity Cult. I pulled this out just recently and I thought they were all blank and I popped this one in and I'm like, oh, I recorded something on it. So anyway, these are the musical examples. Let's check them out. What's on track one? Reverse drums, track two. Reverse guitar stuff, track three. Vibes, track four. Fun, vibey, spacey. And those are the raw tracks. And as you can hear, they're obviously all mono. And sometimes you want to take a mono sound and spread it far and wide and create a sense of space. And there are easy ways to do that, and so let's just dive right into it. Number one, using a delay pedal. Today I'm using the Electro Harmonics Canyon pedal, and I'm using it in the echo setting. You have to use a pedal that allows you to do a fully wet mix, like this. In order to get the effect that we want, you can't have the original signal. So, here's the signal chain real quick. I've got, on this Tascam 464, on the effects loop number one, I'm sending out, I'm going to the canyon, and it's coming back in, and instead of coming back in to the effects return like you would normally do, I'm going into channel five mono. So now our effects one send is just going to this canyon pedal. Ignore these, these are for future examples. Okay, so you have a delay pedal, and the idea here is to send your mono signal to the delay, and then you pan the original signal all the way to the left. And then that delayed signal that you've sent, you pan it to the right. Let's start by listening to that track four by itself. Hear the spread? Just to prove that it's working, I'm gonna turn the delay off. Now you hear it down the center, right? Turn it back on. This delay is extremely short. So what if we lengthen it? It's vibey. Let's hear that again real quick, but let's bring the mono elements back in. I'm gonna turn the delay off. All down the center. Obviously you don't have to pan hard left and right. That's just a pure echo with no extra feedback or long delay. It's one of the oldest, easiest, simple ways to stereoize a mono track. Which brings me to number two. In the analog realm and on the Porta Studios, pre-fader sends are super cool and super useful, super important. And on a Porta Studio, mostly, I've worked with Tascams, there's something called a tape out. You should be seeing B-roll of the tape out right now. The signal coming from this is unaffected by the channel strip. So that means you can pull the fader all the way down and you're still drawing a signal. What that means is that you can totally bypass the original signal. So one really fun vibey way to stereoize with this technique is some kind of stereo pedal or effects unit. I don't know why I couldn't think of these words. Today we have the Electro Harmonics Cathedral Reverb. It is a stereo reverb. Again, I got the tape out signal coming from track three. 
That's going straight into the reverb pedal, which has two outs because it's stereo. And that's going into a stereo track here on the mixer. If you have stereo inputs on a mixer, great. And if you don't, take up two tracks. Get what I'm saying? Let's hear that original signal first. Beautiful. Let's pull up the fader on seven and eight. Now just to prove a point, turn off the reverb pedal. Again, the key here was to show you the tape out method. You can just take that straight into any kind of stereoizing effects and your mind should be going wild with the tape outs. Which brings me to number three. Everyone's always so conservative with their stereo spreading. You know, for number three, we're going to set up an effects chain that doesn't make any sense and hard pan it left and right. <laughs> What I mean by doesn't make sense is we are going to split that mono signal. Today I'm using a chromatic tuner. Very easy to split the signal. You just don't engage the tuner. And that now gives you two signal paths that are identical. You can get very simple with this, like two delays or a delay and a reverb. Those have all been done before. Today, I want to show you something weird. Or maybe you'd call this aggressive. I'm taking the tape out, the pre-fader signal from channel three. It's going into the chromatic tuner, split identical. And then the right side is going to this boss slicer, which is weird. And then the left side is going to this boss multi overtone pedal, which is also weird. And we're gonna bring them back in. The slicer's on the right here, this channel, seven. The multi overtone is in the channel to the left. We're gonna pan them and we're gonna see how it goes. First, let's hear track three. Perfectly lovely. Now I've pulled track three all the way down. And since we're taking a pre-fader, let's pull these up. Pretty weird. Let's bring the original signal back in. Just one track. Let's bring in some of these mono elements again. having a little bit too much fun there. Oh yes, just to prove a point again, let me turn those pedals on and off. I really like that one. It's actually pretty cool. And as you can imagine, just get weird. Put whatever you want to the right and to the left. And now you're, you're, you're changing the game. You're redefining your original mono part, which brings me to number four. Using tape echo. Now this is very similar to number one, but I'm gonna show you a little extra step that can funkifies your stereoizing. Concept is the same though. We've got an original signal. We're gonna pan it and we're gonna send that out to the tape echo of, in this case, it's my Ur report monitor. And then we're gonna bring that signal back in to a channel where we can pan it, pan, pan, pan it to the other side. So you're gonna have original signal here and then a tape echo on the other side. But then I'm gonna show you something a little bit funky. This tip is for all you people out there in analog world who have a three head tape machine around. If you do not have a three head tape machine, it's okay, you can still do this with a tape delay effects pedal or any kind of delay effects pedal. I'm just adding an extra step here. 
Get your delay going and pick a vibey slow speed. This delay goes all the way down to 15 sixteenths of an inch. Let's use track two for this one. That's the original signal. I'm gonna pan it. And then the delayed signal should be coming back into this channel, channel five, which I'm gonna pan hard to the right. And let's bring up the fader. There it is. That's just like number one though. Here, what I like to do with this tape delay is throw a pitch effects in the chain. In this case, I'm using the whammy setting and octave up. So I'm sending the signal to the tape delay and then the signal's coming out of the tape delay. But before it gets to back into the mixer, it is going through the whammy. Now I'm going to engage the whammy. Whammy! Pretty sick, huh? I mean, now, with the whammy, since there are other pitch options, you get to do fun stuff like this. Easy peasy. There you have it. Very simple concept today. I hope that you got something out of this. So you learned something that you haven't before. Uh, four ways to easily stereofy your mono track in the analog realm. If there's a technique that you really love to employ, let me know in the comments below. I'm always learning. We're learning from each other. If I went by too fast on any of this, please also leave a question below. Check out all the links in the description. Original music is there. You could support me on Patreon, which is super helpful. Now go out there, find your own way to stereofy a mono track, get weird, have fun recording, have fun creating. And with that, as always, oh, I'm gonna play us out with some weird ambient tape loop stuff. But with that, as always, is peace and be good to each other. Why is feedback into tape delay just so much fun? I don't know why. Dink it and sink it? Thanks, Rhett and Link.